I'm going to be giving an expose of several of the new features we've done to make using the front end um, in terms of graphics easier, making it some things render faster, extensions we've done to primitives, getting things to look prettier, and as well as ways of exploring your graphics. To kick off with, we've made texture mapping easier by introducing uh, named vertex texture coordinates. And this is typically when you've got vertex texture coordinates, you'll specify a set of coordinates and there'll be numeric coordinates or you'll specify a function. And now you can very simply just say, for instance, for a cone, you can say, I'd like to map my texture across the, the cone using a conical mapping. And you get this nice uniformly distributed mapping of the texture across the cone. One of the things we've also introduced here is an alias for vertex texture coordinates called texture mapping. So for instance, you can also say I'd like a cylindrical mapping for a cylinder and, and some other primitives. And here you can see an example of this. It's mapped this texture across the cylinder. We've also support spherical mapping. And the, one of the interesting things with uh, spherical mapping is that it takes a second argument, and this second argument specifies how the which axis would be effectively up. For graphics complex, we support planar, cubic, and spherical names um, to accomplish a mapping across those um, graphics complex. For B spline surface, we we also support UV wrap, UV unified wrap, and UV unified wrap with stretch. To make things even easier for the texture directive, we now support a second argument. And for that, you can specify automatic. And it will choose the most appropriate named version or mapping for the shapes that follow it. So for instance, in this example, we can see that the texture has been wrapped across all these primitives and shapes. So we've introduced an, a new method option called texture wrap. Um, this accepts these arguments. We provide another method option to, to help speed up textures in certain situations. We've also accelerated rendering of things like polygons and tubes. We cache the polygon holes. To, to speed up the rendering of complex 2D polygons. So for instance, in this case, where there are polygon holes, they get cached and then they can quickly be reused. That speeds things up. There's a two points method option. Basically, this speeds up rendering a lot. In terms of extensions to primitives, disk and circle now accept multiple arguments or multiple um, centers for this first argument. We've also extended axis object to 3D. So here you can see a, a small example with three axes. We've also done some rendering improvements to reduce artifacts, and we employed a multi-pass view range uh, rendering technique. When it comes to exploring your 3D graphics, we've now rolled out absolute current value and absolute option to, to work for all the graphics and graphics 3D options, we, we evaluate this box and now we can query it, uh, the absolute current value of it. If I change this and reevaluate this, you'll see these values will, will update. Some of the new um, 3D interaction capabilities that we have. So for instance, dolling a camera forwards and backwards, and you can use a mouse wheel for these interactions. Look around um, is option command and drag. And the new 3D visualized 3D view helps to better understand interactively those navigations.